Hey my tinies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya and I go by Makeup by Tiny T because I am so tiny. I am 4'10 and on my good days I am 4'11. With that being said guys, today's look is actually going to be a Valentine's inspired look. And as you can see, they are very, very pretty hearts in my makeup look today. And I actually used the Midas Cosmetics um, Savage. And you guys can actually um, use my coupon code, which is down below. So you guys can purchase some items from there because, you know, I'm always raving about Midas Cosmetics. So, um, yeah, these I believe are like a dollar. And if you guys use my discount code i think it's like 20 percent off but i am i'm gonna be honest with you i do get a little bit of commission so and also today's look is also using the flower balm and you guys know like my previous look is also using this palette so this palette has so many varieties of looks that you guys can create which is why I have been using it to show you that you guys don't need to purchase new palettes you guys can always create different looks using the same palette but with that being said my tinies don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you guys want to learn how to get this look then make sure to keep on watching all right my tiny so we're going to start off by using the flower bomb palette by Midas Cosmetics and we're going to start off using Hibish's um, shade. And we're going to be using the brush M507. As you can see, um, I hadn't pat down my concealer. So make sure you do that before you actually apply. Because then it's going to look all creasy and stuff. So I started with the outer V and worked my way in just to get the nice pigmentation and use patting motions. And as you go along, also do windshield wipers, just go back and forth. And we're going to do it on our, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like a, it's like above our crease because I have somewhat of a hooded eye and we want that to be seen and we don't want any like, um, any of the bottom shade or the eye color, eyelid color to transfer to the top of our eyelid, if that makes sense. So um, I'm just doing, just basically going back and forth um, to get it to the pigmentation that I want. And you don't have to blend out, guys. I mean, because we are going to go back and do... Um, lighter shades that way it can blend nicely and stuff you know um but you can just blend the edges just a little bit the next shade we're using is a daisy and daisy's like a hot pink shade and we're using the M506 brush and we're putting it, actually applying it right above the um, other shade, the previous shade that we used. And um, it's kind of like, our, make sure that your brush is half and half, half on the shade before and half on the outside of the shade, if that makes sense. That way you guys have a nice, beautiful blend and you don't have to go back in with another brush to like blend it out.
Next shade we're using is Magnolia. And this one is a super light peachy color. And we're using the brush M506. It's obviously for Morphe. I'm sorry guys, I forgot to mention that. And we're just applying, like I said, half on the previous shade and half on the outside of the that shade. That way you get that nice smooth blend. And um, just work your way by blending it. And if you can't get the blend that you guys want, then just grab a different um, blending brush, a clean blending brush, and you can just blend them together. Um, like in this one, we're using an e.l.f. blending brush. I think it's like $2, and it's literally just blend, basically. That's all you got to do. So here we're using my L'Oreal True Match Foundation or Concealer, sorry guys, and we're actually using the little bristle that it has to cut my crease. I really enjoy this um, concealer just because of the bristles. So just take your time, guys. You really do not want to um, mess it up, and honestly, just follow like the um, your eyelid shape. I don't know if that makes sense. And as you can see, it transferred a little bit, but um, if you guys do this, you guys will be able to not get the pigmentation from the bottom eyelid to transfer to the top color. And this is what I do, and I love to do this all the time just so my shades um, don't transfer together. Next shade we're using is actually going to be Lily, and we're using a Wet n Wild flat brush um, just to set the concealer. And we're basically just prepping it for the next shade that we are going to be applying on top of it. So now we're using Rose Melon. This is more of like a little beautiful shimmery shade. And we're using the same Wet n Wild flat brush to apply it on our eyelid. And as you can see, you can already start seeing the beautiful shimmer that you get. You don't have to put any like um, glitter glue or anything like that. Just like this is perfect. And we're using the hearts from Midas Cosmetics. It's called Savage. And I'm just going back and forth um, with it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I was kind of off camera. But um, we're basically kind of just applying randomly. Uh, maybe like a few centimeters or millimeters apart from each other. Just so we get that beautiful, nice, um, I guess you can say, um, space in between the hearts.
all right my tinies and this is the finished look as you saw in the beginning i hope you guys enjoyed this look i really enjoyed creating this look it's a beautiful valentine's look i mean it's over the top but i absolutely love it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye my tinies Mwah. So sexy, you